Card me jump take one. Hi, my name is Khaled Spivak. I'm a filmmaker based north of the wall. That's Scotland for those of you who are not from the UK. And I've teamed up with Red Shark to review this. G Technologies G RAID with Thunderbolt 3. Now I want to start the review by saying I've never actually used a G Technology product before. This is my first experience with the brand. So when I told Red Shark this, they said, hey, that's great. Well, how about this? We'll just send you the drive, use it for six months and tell us how you get on. And well, it's been more than six months. Before we get into that part of the review, let me just say that I think there's a lot of reviews out there already benchmarking this device, so we won't be really covering the data points and speed. We'll just be really approaching it from a consumer level and like first impressions, how I felt about it, how comfortable I was with the device, and generally, would I recommend it? So, let's talk box then. It comes with a power connector, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, as well as a USB-C to USB cable. That's for those of you who have not quite upgraded to Thunderbolt 3 yet, so G Technology has got your back on that part. quite like the fact that it has a USB-C to USB connector, because I've found typically some situations where I've been inside a studio where they don't have a Thunderbolt 3 I.O. and it allows me just to be completely compatible, and I'm really glad that G Technology has included that port. And I must admit, the speed was decent. It's not quite Thunderbolt 3 standard, but it was fast enough for me to get on with my work. So I've had this drive for about 8 months now, and I've worked on various short films, a couple of music videos, some documentaries, but I think the more notable one would be the feature film that I worked on. It's a little feature called Schemers, it's independently made. Um, I've been editing it for 4 months now. It's got about a total of 6 terabytes worth of proxies. So for 4 months solid, I've been turning the drive on, bouncing out 6 terabytes worth of proxies into Final Cut, doing my changes, bouncing it back into the drive. What I'm going to do now is just going to open up the project on Final Cut, which will load up the large project I was talking about, the 6 terabytes. And we can see... I don't know if you can hear the hard drive at the minute. It's got a lot of clicking in the moment. That's obviously expected from spinning hard drives. Um, I will must admit, I did get a bit alarmed by that at first, uh, but it's just the sound of the drive. You get, you tend to get used to it, because it will just load the project. When it's done, I'll just go back to being idle again. Um, but overall, I mean, that's just loaded it like that. So when I got the drive, the first thing I wanted to check was what kind of hard drives it was sporting, because, you know, I want to know exactly what I'm storing my stuff on. And I was absolutely thrilled to see that G Technology has decided to go with HGST drives. Now, me and HDST go way back, like to 2004, and I've had not one single hard drive fail on me. So before I got involved with G Technology, um, these are the kind of drives that I used to work off from. Kind of plasticky, very fragile devices. Did the job for me though, it was quite a fairly cheap solution for me. So when G Technology sent me this absolute unit of a drive, the difference is night and day. I mean, first of all, let's just talk about the body of it. It is like made of some sort of steel aluminium. I don't know, is that steel aluminium? Steven, is that aluminium? It's a metal, right? It's solid. I feel like I can trust this 100%. And it's seen some serious miles with me. I've actually traveled around the world with this, and primarily London, Bangkok, and New York, kind of central areas. And uh, it's not failed me once, it's always turned on, it's never, it never switches itself off. So I'm very happy with this drive. When I'm come, I mean, you come from, if you can just, in your mind, times that by like 10, and put that next to that, um, this looks much nicer. It's cleaner, it's clean cut, it's, it's got everything that I need in one place. And um, yes, it, it is a bit on the pricier side, but I think that's, the offset of that is the fact that you are getting that reliability, that you are getting that space, and it is absolutely solid. So in conclusion, if you're a professional that requires a device that's going to archive your content as well as deliver to your clients, I 100% recommend this to you. If you're starting out and you're primarily a filmmaker, I would say that this device isn't essential, purely for the fact that I think there is more cheaper alternatives on the market that will do the same job for you. However, I will say this, if you've got the budget and you're willing to invest in something, this is a worthwhile investment purely because the drive is sturdy, it's reliable and it's high in capacity and I honestly believe that it would see you for many years to come.